Now, Clevers Odiambo is definitely not a newcomer in the art scene here in Kenya. The gifted artist has been setting the bar year in, year out with artworks that keep getting picture like. Well, hyperrealism is his specialty, and this is what he had to display recently at the Alliance Francais during his latest exhibition dubbed The Tinted Glasses. Let's now take a look at how it went. Enjoy! <laughs> Clevers Odiambo has been leading the park in hyperrealism artistry for many years now. His artistic endeavors have seen him host exhibitions from time to time, which many people often look forward to. His latest being the Tinted Glasses exhibition. Tinted Glasses is, uh, is my latest series of oil paintings so this is my sixth series now I normally do um, I normally create art in series um, so every year and a half I create a body of work at least since 2015 that's how I've been working Tinted Glasses talks about is a, is a series about um, recreating or um, or reimagining different artworks that have been done before but now through Clever's tinted glasses. Normally, when somebody says you're looking at something through tinted glasses, it normally implies your that you that you're editing or you are or you or you're modifying reality, you know, uh, into the color of the tint of the glasses. So in this case, um, I have a, I have an I have an exhibition whereby I'm showcasing eight different paintings that are recreations of different artworks. So some of them were done in different styles. Now I'm looking at them through realism, tinted glasses. Some of them were done, all of them were done by other artists, you know, uh, digital artists, oil painters, graphic designers. I'm looking at them through clever tinted glasses. A good chunk of the original artworks were based on Caucasian models. The decision to make his subjects African was a major selling point that carried a lot of importance. Art for me was an academic interest. It's not something I used to do as a kid. Um, so it's something I learned in high school. And in high school they taught us about art history, mostly Western art history. And so my first inspirations and some of the artists I still look up to to date are artists in, mostly in Europe who painted white people. And it, just, it never used to be um, a lot of, there never used to be a lot of Africans as the main characters in those paintings. So, when I also started painting, most of my characters were also white people, you know. Uh, it was all, it's been a gradual development of my work to kind of localize it more and uh, bring it more to, um, more towards my home, Africa, and also, uh, and even make it even more individual. So, uh, in a series like the one I did before Tinted Glasses, the series called Let It Be, I was talking about or Indifference. I was talking about I was talking about uh, my own experience, so so um, just gradually my work has gotten more and more personalised. And as an African who lives in Africa and interacts with African people, I understand I understand us more. So naturally, if my work is going to be getting more and more personal with time, that would mean it's going to get more and more African. So. That's why at this, at this point Tinted Glasses features a lot of Africans. Throughout the exhibition, curious onlookers found it extremely difficult to ignore the masterpieces that hung on the walls. I'm a student at Alliance Francais, so I was waiting for my friend after class. Then I saw the art and decided to look at it. The most interesting thing for me was that it mostly featured African women and the paintings were large and they looked kind of real. My favorite one was the one with a girl with like water dripping from her hair and on her face and the droplets look kind of real. Yeah, and I think it's really nice. In as much as the artworks were a recreation of other works, one couldn't help but appreciate how dexterous Clevers is in telling stories uniquely. I, I like the way he's deviated from the tradition. You see, like uh, most artists in Kenya, they, they'll do Maasai, they'll do the, the cultural aspect. But now he's, he's picked, he's, he's actually capturing the modern day life. Like for example, the, the, the milkmaid. I like how he captures the detail, the, the, the lighting and the pouring of the fluid. It's, it's very lifelike. And also the scale. The scale is also fabulous.
A Clever's Odhiambo is a spot-on case study of what consistency and experience yield because his artworks only keep getting better. This is a style I've been practicing from the moment I started painting back as a high school student to now as a postgraduate of uh, University of Nairobi. So I've been practicing realism for the past, now I'm going to say since 2010, but professionally since 2014. Uh, from 2010 all the way to 2012, when I was in high school, it was mostly an interest that I had as a subject, but not so much as something uh, that I wanted to do professionally. That came much later, um, about four years into practicing art. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but Odiambo's pieces are definitely worth much, much more. Right now we take a short break, but we'll still have lots more in store for you. See you in just a bit.